Let's go. Uh, let's see if one is enough. Three, two, one. Boom! Oh my god. Oh, it's radiation down here. Oh, oh my god. There's loads of them. Radiation, radiation monsters. Yeah. Oh, he's not even firing back. That's weird. Okay, I think we got him. By Jove, I think we got him. Boop. Who oh, sugar? He was playing possum. No, he had a buddy up here. Oh my god. A little fella. Oh that gave me an adrenaline rush, I tell you. Got it. More summer salute for me, hello Bert. Greetings, adventurers. It is I, Les Grumbles, and after the great successes uh, of unlocking both vehicular transport and coal power, we now have our first coal plant. Now, it's a tiddler, and it's a little bit of a concrete bunker. <laughs> we don't have lots of things unlocked, and I kind of just rushed it in. I just thought, let's get it done. Uh, but here she is. Uh, as well as a little view of our warehouse, which is starting to take shape, form and color. Uh, and uh, very importantly and excitingly, look at it. Look at our little tractor. Yeah, wonderful. All right. So uh, now it is time to start trying to build into Las Vegas proper. Uh, and uh, in order to do that and also have all the bits and bobs I want, I'm also going to put down my first ever basic steel factory, uh, but it's going to give us something else to uh, to build to, I guess. Uh, let's have a look down here. Uh, using Dakota's little setup with a few little twists here and there. We've got some water running at the back in here. Oh, oh that's the, the sticks are crazy. Uh, we've got our coal piped up from underneath. And this comes from a long way away, I can tell you. Uh, and uh, yeah, up top, we have... Oh, oh. We have a ladder. An impossible to climb ladder. Uh, we've got our... So, and in here, on the upper level, sure enough, two, uh, two coal generators with a little bit of uh, light coming in. Uh, no door here for whatever reason. I've forgotten to place one. Don't know, but I thought uh, I thought what better thing to do than to come to this most beautiful oasis that we've got here, run a whole load of coal across the water, uh, and build a power plant. Yeah, because that's what you do with beautiful environments, apparently in this game. Anyway, good vibes, everybody. Let's get on with it. Steel production, you say? Lift off. Let's go. Milestone reached. Coal and iron can be combined in the foundry to start steel production. Project part number two, the versatile framework, can only be created via automation, not at a crafting bench. Delivering these to the space elevator is essential if we are going to complete phase two of project assembly and save the day. Hmm. Fix it and humanity is relying on you. Good, good, good. Well, I am most reliable. Right, that's all the basics out of the way. Next up, hmm, good question. Let's just go with the blueprints for now. All right, onwards. And out into the desert. Huzzah! All right, I have spent a little bit of time putting together a basic steel production line for steel beams and steel pipes. Ah, uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, starting at the coal here, everything's all connected up. Uh, here is the building, work in progress, but we've gone with another mega brutalist kind of style. I think this one's going to be quite pretty when she's finished, but it's going to take a while. And also, if we can unlock some more things in the uh, sink shop, it's going to be all the better. 
Uh, but yeah, here is our building. Got this big front area here. And inside, I've gone with a production floor that's reasonably clear of uh, con uh, conveyor belts. Uh, but at the expense of running everything all over the shop. Now, this is also featuring my very first attempt at a logistics floor, albeit, yeah, I didn't bother running that back up and down again. Maybe I should, but, you know, a little bit of conveyor is not the end of the world, I don't think. Uh, but essentially, all of the steel, no, uh, all of the iron and coal run into the building, come up the floor, go up to the logistics level, up here, huzzah, and uh, yeah, all of this is going to be tucked away in the building. No need to look at it again. And I've also incorporated uh, these fingers of uh, these these bones, these rib cage or whatever this is, uh, into the build a little bit as well, and try to work with the cliff face at the back too. So uh, nothing's touching this. This is all open all the way through to the to the ground, and uh, yeah, everything feeds up these belts and then back down these lifts. Uh, into uh, production area. Yeah, let's go turn the power on, shall we? And see uh, see what happens a few moments later. Marvelous. All right, boom, boom. And this is going to be our gigantic first steel factory. <laughs> I can't wait to actually get the pieces I need to make this building because it's going to look glorious. I've just kind of faked it till I make it right now with a few of these pillars here. Looks pretty good, I think. Um, but yeah, we're going to need some stairs here. We need all sorts of stuff. This is making steel beams, 15 a minute based on 60 uh, ingots. So this is producing uh, 45. Um, and so to make up the other 15, we've got one over here which is producing another 45 uh, and that feeds into oh my god I forgot to connect these two to each other no I didn't it's connected to the back uh, it's connected into a lovely pair of uh, splitter and then merger so it sends 15 uh, out this way uh, which is what's needed here's 30 wait have I got something wrong I think I there is a line in the middle that's needed. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Okay. So, okay, the 45 come out here. 15 go that way on the splitter. 15 go this way on the splitter. They merge together and they go in there. That's 30. Huzzah! And that does our steel pipes. And then on the other side, the, the other 15 come out there. Go up that lift. Come across here. Go into there. And here's a converter. So 15 plus 45. Perfect. Okay, I think we're golden. Oh, it's been really, really fun trying to go oh, spend a bit of time trying to work out how to do a logistics floor and also incorporate this. Talk about making things complicated for myself. My buddy Hula will be chuckling away to himself when he sees this. He'll be like, so basically, Grumbles, you made it five times more complicated than it needed to be. Yes. Yes, I did. Wonderful. All right, well, let's... uh. I'll catch you up in a moment when this is all... Wait a minute. Something's... Oh, something's backed up. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, look. <laughs> guess, guess who forgot to connect that bit up? Oh, my God. The man is a menace. A menace to himself. Let's go. Okay. So there goes the coal. I've got a sneaking suspicion... There might be something wrong with the iron. So I can only, I can only bring it. Huh. I, I wonder why those don't. Huzzah! Everything is now functioning. Inefficiently, but functioning nonetheless. We have over here some more steel beams. Nearly made, we've got 49 of those now. Nearly at the 50. And over here would be some steel pipes. Uh, if there were any more ingots coming out. <laughs> so uh, it's funny. This side was struggling for coal. So it's obviously seconds. And the other side's struggling for iron. So even in my imbalancing, I've managed to balance things. 
<laughs> That's quite funny. Could be because they threw that extra coal in there manually. Anyway, so we need to uh, get to 45. We need to get to 90 per minute. And we've got two normal uh, doobly-doos. Um, however, uh, we can either overclock. So 60 a minute like that. So if we throw one of those in there and chuck that up to 90, that sorts out the iron requirements. Uh, and then over here, we could either do the same or we could tap a little bit into this coal that's feeding our power plant. However, I don't want to do the ladder um, because I'm going to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I'm going to be building more coal power. So what we're going to do is just overclock uh, this one as well. So now we've got 90 a minute there from uh, coal and 90 a minute inside under the building. Uh, from iron so that should given a little bit of time even itself out we can crack on now also excitingly uh just as exciting yeah there you go there we go things are starting to work out nice oh yes everything's green and oh mathematical genius not uh okay also very excitingly uh, we're going to take 15 of these beams and from uh, a previous episode we had discovered this hard drive doobly doo and it needed uh, hello birdie hello I wish I could feed you um, uh, we needed I think it was 20 steel beams because we were cunningly enough wrote that onto the map there map marker that we made uh, so yeah we're going to go up here and we're going to Struggle to work out how I got there. Lost. Ah! Oh, parachute save. Oh. And yeah, here we go. Boop. Get ourselves a hard drive and a recipe. So we'll put that in the oven for 10 minutes. Damaged hard drive successfully acquired. All yes. pioneers are contractually obliged to preserve and secure any recovered hard drives for analysis in the MAM, which Let's may result in benefits go. to the fix it mission. Speculation as to why there are crashed freighters in your fix-it designated <laughs> zone is discouraged as specified in your contract. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right. Excellent. Okay. Things are starting to go our way. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go under the boardwalk. Down through the caves. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. There's our huge long track of coal. Uh, and here we go. Look, I've colored this up a little bit so it doesn't have to be so boring, even though it's just a straight line. Uh, I figured it was about time we'd be able to drive back and forth from our hub. Uh, so rather than rejiggle everything, I just built a little parking area up here. How's that? Don't drive into the thing. You know what happens. Mm hmm. Mm <laughs> hmm. Uh, hard drive. We came up here with the hard drive. That's what we came up to do. Boop. Uh, hard drive scan. Set that one going. A few moments later. Uh, and also we're in a position to start filling up uh, what's needed here. We've got half the the doobly doos. We've got those. We've got lots of that. We've got oh, concrete. Okay. So, wow, we ended up with just eight pieces of concrete left from that build before we ran out. Okay, over at the concrete production area, I doubled down. Uh oh, made it. Hashtag made it. Uh, I doubled. Ow! Oh, falling damage. Oh well. Um, I doubled down on concrete production. So we should have. Oh. Yes. So good. Let's just take all of that. In fact, let's take all of it. We're going to use it anyway. Um, yeah, the warehouse, although also those of you with a keen eye, you might have noticed has had a lick of paint and a bit of uh, attempted artwork attached to it. Don't worry about the conveyor belt that runs through there. Nobody saw nothing. Right, fill that up. Great. So now we just need 100 and what's that? 56 uh, steel beams and another 50 of those QB cubes. Uh, and we're golden and we've got blueprints available to us. Yay! And then we can start building 
our nice curvy roady roads that are gonna allow us to open up the rest of the desert oh, things are going pretty well actually let's check power consumption before we end this bit Mm -hmm. 135, 150. Oh, okay. So we are kicking a little bit into biofuel power. Only just. So we're still using old centipede down there. They're all green. That's good. Uh, so I guess we might need to go over there and extend the or build a second uh, little power factory. Hmm. Back in a bit. Jolly good fun, this. I have spent a little bit of time setting up a uh a cheeky little blueprint wait are these guys gonna get feisty don't do it all right i better i better shoot first ask questions later i don't think that's actually hitting is it uh oh this guy's uh all right all right all right have it yeah 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 you didn't like that did you run for your lives or are you going round the corner to come and get me? Did they just... Did they bolt? I think they bolted. Holy cow. Where did they go? I can hear them. Maybe they went into their KB... Oh, no, here they are. Got them. One down. Well, you're silly. If you wanted to fight, you had to go the other way, like, towards me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't think I killed him. I think he's just hiding within that rock. Ah, uh, see you later. Sorry about your buddy. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, it is what it is. So, uh, um, yeah, I spent some time and I thought, well, you know, we don't have this Katerium on the go yet. For two reasons. One, oh, hello. Are you friends with those other two troublemakers? Got them. Well, uh, I guess you get to hang out with one of them. Anyway, that seems moon. Uh, oh, pure limestone. Nice. We'll do a little cement thing down here too. Uh, yeah, so we've got this pure criterium down here near the waterfall uh, edge of the map area. And uh, two reasons. One um i didn't have the blueprint thing in all that and i was like well i'm not gonna be come down here and manually set that up right now it's not urgent um so i've been just collecting with some little uh some little uh what do you call it portable miners um but two uh we didn't have the explosives unlocked or or rather we had the ability but we didn't have the pieces we needed now that we're into steel processing as we've already seen uh i have couple of these little novelists on me and I'm gonna go and smash that up and try not to blow up my uh <laughs> try not to blow up my uh doobly doos while I'm there okay let's have a look this is quick and dirty uh it's literally called quick wire and dirty so this should uh process um Ethereum, blueprint mode can further optimize your construction it, process put it into the constructors and quick dismantling options Thanks, Build Amy. modes are not just there to make your work easier. And, uh, they compensate yeah. for inevitable human error. Be able Fix to uh, deliver a like bunch no of quick wire into this container. Needs you to be efficient and productive oh, at all times. Amy. All right, thanks, Amy. I'm sorry I was talking over you, my dear. Um, yeah. Don't anger the AI, Grumbles. Don't anger the AI. So yeah, we'll be able to bring that up there. Uh, and Bob's your uncle. Uh, I guess I can just uh, do a bit of that. Probably need a four meter one on the end there. Uh, let's see, number six. Let's just do cheat cheese it a little bit at the end. Right. So, uh, yeah, I just made it like this with a little ramp in the middle. So it's got a little bit of a look to it. And it's all kind of using my upper downers. To keep it somewhat clean converging back in and uh, bob's your uncle yeah hopefully those things are all going to be properly connected to each other uh so let's go and uh blow stuff up shall we just check there aren't any enemies down here no it looks good looks clear wonderful speed that drop up a little bit gotta love these quick deploying parachutes man 
So grab you, grab you, and grab you. Nice, 300. Uh, get the old bomberinos out, and I think it's left click. Uh oh. I didn't go as far on as I thought it would. Uh, okay, this should be a good distance. Boom! Oh, yes. We now have. Oh, beautiful. Pure Caterium Ore. Maze Balls. Okay, I'm just going to slap the miner straight on it since we're going to uh, just go and uh, hoover that up anyway. Let's get, I like the position where it's sort of low to the ground like that. So we'll just go uh, like that. One, two, three, four. Then we come from here. Go on there. It's pretty. It looks pretty nifty. And that's it. Nice. Beautiful. All right. One pure caterium mine, all hooked up to a double smelter, double constructor manifold. Yeah. Now it's just a question of. Uh, running all the way home to run power and how to not leave my tractor behind right well there you go i just wanted to show the first blueprint on this world just a cheap one. Oh, and the other thing is oh look at that we can now we've got explosives so we can blow up the entrance to this cave i think we should do it i absolutely think we should do that i'll run the car the power cables on my own time but that will get us some Caterium processing. Oh, and the other thing I was going to do is... I nearly completely forgot. Was uh, set up a... Uh, what do you call it? Set up a truck stop down here to run it back for us. But now I think... The more I think about it, the more I might just run a... Uh, a sink. I suppose there's no reason why we can't do both. We can have a smart splitter. We've got those unlocked now. Yeah, okay. Okay. I like this thinking. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, power line to there. Beautiful. That's that all connected up. Okay. So, at some point, if we want to, and if I ever remember <laughs> that I built this, uh, we can connect up the Caterium delivery system. Now, for now... Oh, no, you know what? We can just put it all in here. We don't need that storage container. But that can just work as a buffer anyway for the for the truck stop. Because quick wire makes real fast anyway. Alright, all we have to do is run that power cable. Let's go blow open a cave. Now, there might be a hog. Oh, there he Oh, goodness. That's a big fella. I might need explosives for him. Did I get him? I think I got him. Got his attention. Have it. Uh-oh. 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 Big charge. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, hello. No. 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 Got him. Oh, headshot. Boom. I think. Yeah, there you go. Got his innards. Five of them from that guy. Wow, that was a big fella. Okay. More than enough excitement. Let's go. Uh, let's see if one is enough. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Oh my God. Okay, put those away. Let's get our gun out. What's going to be in here? Don't stick your face in that. It might be like xenomorphs. Face others. Oh, it's radiation down here. Oh, oh my god. There's loads of them. Okay, this is radioactive. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I've not done anything with radiation in this game yet. So here we go. Cave. Radiation, radiation, monsters. Okay. Crikey, that's scary. All right, that's definitely left for another time. Okay, I'm going to run these power cables back. Oh, hello, big fella. Can I kill you? With a butt shot? Nice. Oh, 
Oh, he's not even firing back. That's weird. Okay, I think we got him. By Jove, I think we got him. How can I get up there? I'm gonna have to build a way up there, okay. Let's get a ladder going. not the best way. Oh well, I'm gonna use the ladder. We're doing it now. Boop. Oh sugar! He was playing possum! No, he had a buddy up here! Oh my god! A little fella. Oh! I even saw that in a previous episode and then I forgot that the little fella was up here as well. Oh, that, that gave me an adrenaline rush, I tell you. Got it. More summer sloop for me, yellow bird. Okie dokie. Right. Nice. Nice. So, radioactive cave. Alright, that's it for this bit. Back soon. I have run the power cables and look at that beautiful deuterium ore from that perfect vein. All the way up. No clipping. Still waiting for it. So that's going to deliver 120. These take in 45 each, so we'll have a uh, backlog. That's okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then these will take in 12 per minute of the ingots. So again, slightly over the top, 15 to 12. But that's okay. We don't need to clock it or anything. We're not in a desperate rush for it. It just means that we're going to get some uh, some quick wire done and delivered into this truck stop. Fantastic. Uh, there, it, there it comes. Yes, I get so excited. That's such basic construction things. But when it actually works and the fact that it's all built on a blueprint. So that means I connected the blueprint up. Uh, correctly. And we only had to add in the things like feeding it in at the rear there. Oh, fantastic. Let's flipping go. Let's go. We don't need to ever go down there again now. Wonderful. All connected up to permanent power as well. Nice. We've still got room to feed something else in there if we want. And the only thing we need to add in here is a source of fuel for the trucks. So we'll throw some, uh, we'll get some coal fed in there at some point. I don't know if there's any nearby. Ironically, we've got a, we've got a kind of a coal pit stop at the base oh, look you can see the highlighted thing over there saying where the base obviously you got the sky elevators all oh, that's cool and there we go beautiful and that can hold tons and tons and tons oh, amazing okay okay i know it's only basic stuff but i get excited about it all right let's go back to the base because i want to show you uh, the new roadie roads. I have been busy, as promised, and I've started making some roads. Now, bear with me. They're kind of basic. Let's just get from A to B of what we've already got built. But I've connected up the hub, uh, the space station, as I'm calling it, and the <laughs> uh, and the new uh, steel processing, basic steel processing facility. So uh, yeah, we've got we've got three of our buildings connected now they're all on the periphery of course i haven't started on the roads into the desert well beyond uh, what i'm doing there with my circle testing uh but i do want to show you because we can now get from a to b to c and back again actually i don't know oh uh, yeah no i should be able to get onto the road up here so let's show you what we've got and eventually We'll go all over here. We're going to have buildings everywhere. I'm going to try and incorporate as many of the landmarks like that big rock there uh, as I can. As you as you can see what we've, what we've done in the uh, in the steel facility. We've now extended it out. Oh, oh. And we have a way, I think. I might have to move a wall. But yeah, from here. Actually, do I need to grab some stuff while I'm here? Not really. But we could. Oh, look at that. Isn't that glorious? Oh, it's all the steel. Wonderful. And the next floor up is going to be uh, 
Let's go. Full pockets is. Uh, the next floor up is going to be uh, some more processing of steel into the more advanced stuff sent for, for shipping back to the uh, to the spaceport. All right, here we go. So now from here, it connects up. There's a bit of a curve in the road. So I said all square roads. I've done a little bit of curve here and there, like here as well, just to give a little bit of feeling and flavor. Um, but yeah, this is all very simple stuff for now, just to get us up and running from Ada, because going over the sand dunes and up and down and all that was, uh, well, there's just no need for it. No need. Oh, look, they can see my blueprint over there. Left that loaded in. And we can do some curved roll blueprints and whatnot. Uh, let's set off some more manual, because we've got this manual right now, not automated. Get a bunch more of these modular frames. Because we're now needing tons of those. And here's where I've got my uh, reinforced plate processing. And my rotor processing. Lovely. Can't even pick them all up anymore. Full pocketses. Nice. Oh, I built a little viewing platform thing over here. So I might move that over to here. So it looks kind of cool. In fact, I am going to move that. Let's let's go. Come here. Uh, or do, can we just build another one? Let's build another one. Do, do, do. Uh, it's not special. It's organization. There we go. So we've got a little uh, viewing platform here. And chuck that on the ends. So you go up and have a look. Do, 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 do. From this side, nice to have a different perspective, you know? There's all our coal feeding in to our two, not one, but two power plants now. So this is now really reserved backup power. That's good. A little bit of paint on the roadie road there. But yeah, you can see we started mostly right angle road at the moment. But uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're going to have lovely curved roads and some curved bases. And oh, it's going to be glorious. Boom. All right, let's go. So we can either go down there and then through the rocks to the coal uh, pickup facility. Might be a good idea to carry even more spare coal on me. We can put some in the truck stop station for, for a bit. Anyway, uh, we haven't got a truck stop at this end. Although, so what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to put a truck stop at the other, at the coal, uh, uh, at the pit stop, we'll call it. We'll put a big sign there. Um, yeah, and that way the trucks can get their coal over here while they're dropping off materials. Uh, and then head out across the desert wherever they're going. Beautiful. Alright, and there we go. We're, uh, back home. I don't think I showed you folks the, uh, the new power plant. But yeah, look, I built another one. Similar sort of model. A few minor adjustments and this time I've incorporated the power. Oh, I forgot to colour them up. I've incorporated the uh, power generators sort of into the... I've clipped walls through them, but only the back end is facing out the back with the chimney stack, so it kind of looks, uh, you know, how you might imagine it to realistically look. Obviously not with the clip, you know, it would be done differently, but we've got what we got. Here we've got our little... Uh, it's definitely not IKEA. Uh-huh, sure, yeah, definitely not. Wonderful. All right. Let's see, what have we got enough stuff yet to chuck? Oh, we have! Let's go, advanced steel production unlocked. Milestone reached. Yes. The Miner Mark II allows extraction of resources from nature to fix it at twice the speed of the Mark I model. 200 of those. Miners can be directly upgraded to Mark II without removing the Mark I model, just like conveyor belts and other Let's upgradable infrastructure. Go. Unfortunately, setting up the production of advanced steel parts and project part number three, automated wiring, will not be as easy. <laughs> Every moment you delay reduces the chances of saving humanity. Mm -hmm. I will not show you the predictions. It would only demotivate you. <laughs> we got some of that to fix there by the looks of it. All right, wonderful. All right, this possibly could be what wraps up episode three. We've just unlocked advanced steel. Now we're going for uh, uh, expanded power and we've used our first blueprint on this world. I think things are going quite well. Yeah, yeah. We're going to need some more power. We're going to need a bigger plant. <laughs> 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a little bit of headroom still, but uh, the next bit of processing is going to be tricky. We're going to build up. Uh, so I'm going to work on unlocking a few more things from the Fix-It shop uh, so we can build uh, the buildings a bit nicer again. Uh, I have a wonderful, wonderful um, brutalism style building that we're going to build for that steel plant um, that we started on. So you ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, all right. Good vibes, everybody. Remember to click the old like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. And uh, I wish you nothing but peace and love in your hearts. Let's go. Thank you.